Ugart Castle. Destroyed by the English so that the Jacobites couldn't get it. <clears throat> We're going to be uh, taking an adventure through here and looking around. So let's see what they've got. Castle from up here. There's a trebuchet over there. We just came through here on our boat visiting Loch Ness. And that's what this is. This is Loch Ness. Here. This is the welcome center here. Yeah, of course, CCT films or, or TVs are on. Some people here, but not a lot. Trip, the next leg of the trip, I can clear some off, off my camera because yeah. it's failing. This is Scotch broom. We used to get it at the flower shop, and it's very tight and very hard, and it's used for flower making. This is what it looks like after it blossoms. Mm -hmm. It's in the pea family. Edible? No. Ah. Here, we're on our way down to the castle. <clears throat> Sailboat in the background. And there's a guy coming up. So I'll move over. That's still a bit <laughs> now the trebuchet you see here, you used a number of them to destroy the castle wall. And you can see how the, the, the holes in the wall were made by those. Dangerous to operate also, <laughs> for those who are doing the operating. We'll pick up a little closer. You can see a better, a large view of the Chevrolet. And on the bottom you can see the large stones that they would shoot at. Here we are a little closer. I want to make sure people don't get too close to it. That's what they would use to bring it down. There's the ball, the balls, the stones that were used. Let me put mine in. 
Ved du hvad, det er galisk, og ved du hvad det betyder? Nej. Det betyder sløjnet ved skoven. Galisk. Ja. No records for, for it, but 11 stone balls are found here. Oh. Used as projectiles. And up there you can see what they look like. The counterweight. I'm going to take a real close one of this and it'll be right out of your way. Thank you. You can see how from here they would have done a lot of damage. It wasn't to take the castle, it was to destroy it, so that the Jacobites couldn't take it. We'll continue on. Well. Wild boars are incredibly dangerous, and they eat everything. See the damage that was done by the stone ball, and of course it was blown up also. Could have been. This was probably deeper. Yeah. Destroying the gatehouse. Box of masonry may have been thrown here by an explosion. <laughs> Queen Mary, second husband, William of Orange.
spirit house. This is the prison cell. Narrow windowless. Oh. Not some place I'd want to spend my time. Not at all. Apparently this was repaired in 2000. This is going up to the top of the guardhouse. Fascinating. I would think so, yeah. Stone stairs. Beyond the walls. Just outside Urgert's defenses were the castle town. Work was too dangerous, smelly, or demanding for the space to be carried out within the walls. Industrial estate. 20 meter long wooden workshop and home inside the iron and bronze were smelted worked on an anvil between the late 1200 and 1500s. Defensive points. It is amazing. The chain. The chain, yeah. The garter room. Defensible position. Hello, train. Keeper's lodging. Private chamber. Keeper of the Lurgart. The most important man in the castle in the absence of the Lord. His responsibility to Range from commissioning and overseeing building work to organizing the defenses. Some of the outside defenses. Now there's tower. And you can see the construction of the walls here too. Rubbled inside and then flat stones on the outside. Another view of the same gate.
must have been some sort of a tower here at one time also. So we're leaving the guard room and the guard tower. And we're walking over here. Oh, what was this? Must be more of the guard room or guard tower. Yep. It's uh Shall defeating the Lugart room was converted into a corn drying kiln in the fifteen hundreds. Ah. boat we were on or ship we were on when we did the lock. This was the stables. You can see how they stable the horses right there. Different divisions. The service closed. Men and women working, repairing clothes, heard wood being worked in the furniture, smelt ale brewed here. More than half the animal bones found in archaeological excavation in this area were cows. Makes sense. Cattle were formed of wealth and a symbol of status. You want to go up first and then down or? Catch you at the top. Well, we just climbed up from down there. See the view they had here for defense. Saw a puzzle with most pieces missing. Walls have been demolished. New ones raised many times in the 1500 years. Timber buildings have rotten away entirely. Locals plundered the castle for building materials. They started its roofs. Ten tons of stolen lead were found in nearby cottages. 1912 to 1922, after the castle passed into state care, the rooms were cleared. Rubble and crumbling walls were consolidated. provide fresh meat and eggs. Hmm. Four holes left. Yeah. Yep. Then we're on our way up to the upper workings and I'll catch you up there. Well down there is where we were. Now we're up here at the top of the castle, I guess, if you want to think of it that way. Scottish flag flying, flying, I should say. Again, picturesque Loch Ness. The castle was transformed many times during its long history. Reshaped a number of times. Five hundred first defenses could date from St. Columba's visit in 580 AD. 1200s, the nobleman Alan Durward 
Probably build a castle on top of the hill. Stone shell keep most likely protected the timber buildings. 1300s, castle became a strategic fortress in the Wars of Independence. 1400s, the castle's buildings were ruined during the 150 year struggle between the McDonald Lords and the Crown. Citadel was fortified. 1500s, Grants wanted a comfortable defensive home appropriate for a lord. We rebuilt the dungeon as a tower house and largely abandoned the castle south of a wall between the gatehouse and Watergate. So that gives you a little history of what went on here. It's amazing. Very amazing. Everything that's here. Over here. Yeah. A good view down into the moat. How deep the moat was below. Oldest part of the castle, perhaps built in the 1220s by the Durwood family. that is Pictish fortifications. They surrendered to the English in 1296 when Edward I came through. 1334, Urgard was one of the few castles in Scotland who refused to surrender to the English army. Lead, yeah. A later legend claims Urgart was besieged by the English in 1303. Uh, Heroic constable died leading a desperate attack on the enemy. The castle did change hands that year, but there's no contemporary evidence for siege. 1308, Robert the Bruce recaptured it. Talking telescope. Hmm. See the defensive wall there. There must have been a tower that went out over that. A good view of the castle from here, also. That part of it. Leg. Take a look over here. Again, you can see how much it commanded the, the area. Surprisingly, not the highest on the hill, though. One would have thought the castle would have been much higher. pick up on the bottom of these these stairs. Well we were up there. And now we're going down there. Pick you up at the bottom. I'm not picking you up at the bottom. I'm showing you on the way down some of the defenses from a better point of view. Now I'll meet you at the bottom. Well we're up there. And now we're here.
We will be walking down to the beach, I'm sure of that. Under the fence of the castle. See over there a little bit better. Then another guard tower. Let's see the fighters burn. Mm -hmm. You wonder what this was. It's not so tall. Probably a guard tower of some sort. Not, well, not so much fires, well, it could be gone from the, the fires. Mira, los cazaron hasta en Chinción. Sought to control the route. Here. Of course, there's no roads to Scots, not like the Romans, even the Anglo Saxons. Good view of the defensive wall here. through the water gate. Interesting enough. The original water gate. The original water gate, that's right. No? Well, I'll pick you up at the bottom. So we're up there, that's the water gate. We came down through these stairs here. Here's the castle. And we're on the beach of Loch Ness. One wonders how many came through here at one point. But this is the water gate. Going out to the outside world. And you can see a fairly nice view of Loch Ness from here. way over in the, in the distance. And up on the hill, the castle. And you can see how the cliffs provide quite a defense for them. Well, we'll pick back up at the water gate. I spoke again. I'm going to be down here a little bit longer. But you can see some of these stones are dressed. So some of these came from the wall when the, uh, when the castle was destroyed. And again, boat we're on when we're on the left side. Okay. Now, 
I find it very interesting, though. Very interesting. So we're going to be walking back towards the water gate. As my wife said, the original water gate. And uh, I'm going to catch you back up at the top of that long stairway. So, just came up from down there, we're back at the water gate. Now we've got a tower. Which way? We've got to go over that way. Now, we talked about the service close. Yeah. <laughs> the stables, we walked by those before. <clears throat> that way first? Mm -hmm. Go that way first? Okay. <laughs> ah, part of the defensive structure. Notice the width in the back, narrowness in the front. Protect the protect the uh, shooter, for lack of a better term, from those shooting at him. This is an even better one to give you the perspective of what it was like. Very hard to shoot through that hole, and not too hard to shoot out. And then, of course, you can maneuver from side to side to be able to aim at people. And this was the kitchen. Great kitchen. The room was alive with sights, sounds, and smells of great medieval kitchen. Discovery an older kitchen rubbish heap in the citadel gives us a glimpse of the rich menu beef, mutton, goat, pork, chicken, fish, traces of oak, barley, hazelnuts, crab, apples, raspberries. Found this behind the castle walls. These people ate good. In fact, it looks like we had a seafood play. So, this was the kitchen. And the, the heart.
was it must have been storage because those aren't very large there's not a lot of height there so this must have been storage of some sort because of the weight well i'm not sure see how the, they're so close together the supports for the floors yeah. it almost looks like it was for uh, storage that's why i said pantry oh pantry yeah yeah probably a pantry Okay, we're going up there and I'm going to get up at the top. Well, we're just down there. There's the kitchen over there. And this was the Great Hall. This is where all the feasting went on. This is where they, the Lord of the Manor, the Lord of the Castle, made sure he showed off. Lavish banquets with music and dancing. So there's an idea of what it looked like. All these are artist renditions, of course. No one knows for sure. This would have been the Great Hall. This is all roped off, but this looks So then, the other thing we've been climbing on. Picking up. Hello. Hello. A defensive tower. Ah, this is the new kitchen. So what we saw before was the old kitchen apparently. This is the new kitchen. Ah, part of a small complex added to the castle and was remodeled in the 1500s. Old kitchen block had fallen out of use by this time following repeat attacks on the castle. Two fireplaces may have been too small for cooking. And they show a slow cooking cauldron here. Different foods together at beef, poultry, eggs, beans, cereal puddings, wrapped bacon at the bottom. It was found in the castle. That's quite a quite a tool. And you can see another defensive position here. And again, you can see how they were able to scan. We built some time after James the fourth. Gave over to the Don Grant of Fouché in 1509. Reward for supporting the monarch in his struggle against the McDonald Wards of the Isles. The 
here is the restoration. This gives you an idea of what the grant tarp is. Iron gate for protection. Way out. Some graffiti from the time and probably from later on. From this spot here. chamber.
The storeroom. This was the storeroom for the power. Barrels, boxes once filled the cellar. Basement was the lowest level of the Clark dungeon. Tower was built by a powerful Coleman family in the late 1200s. Dungeon was in ruins by the time the Grants took over in the 1500s. So this was originally built in the 1200s. Very interesting. I'm going to turn this off as we go on. So we're back on to the main floor. This was supposed to be a rainy day, and we have been very fortunate. Care work going on? probably have a few more things we're going to show you. So that's the castle itself. So as I always ask, please subscribe, ring that bell, and don't forget to hit the like button. So that's the castle pro pro proper, but we'll be walking around a little bit more and probably add that in too.